Hello techies. Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. The new manager is the new manager after the change that is called. That is coming under the target, okay. So generally when you go into a real-time system, we can see the context. They will always keep the context as a source, weather manager, before the change, okay. Understood the concept here for the context. So it is something like right now, current source would be our current manager and target would be like future management. We can say, yeah, we can say that okay. That also depends upon the change. Now you are performing a change, but the when the change is being performed, who is the manager before that change? Okay. That manager will act as a source. So see okay. When the change has been performed. After the change, who is the manager that will consider as the manager mandatory? But we always, as a consultant, we need to understand all the taps. What is the importance of it? Okay. And the same thing which is also mentioned in the implementation guide also. So during the implementation, we will refer those implementation document which will help us okay. Then comes with the edit transaction. So in the edit transaction we have the option that is, no edit, edit with root change and edit without root change and edit attachment. So no, edit generally specifies that when the workflow is being triggered, application will be sent to the server. The Uplover don't have any option to edit it okay. You only have the option either approve it or to reject it. Okay. So if you are configuring something, the edit transaction has to know, edit that approval. Whoever is the approval in that level don't have the option to go and edit and modify it. If they want to do any correction, okay. Now, assuming that in the step 2 we have the edit transaction as this one edit with root change, okay. And here let's take. I am taking something here as attachment only, okay. These are something we just in Azure, which we are looking at. So no edit means he will be receiving the notification. But when he receives notification he can only go and either approve it or we can decline it. He can reject that request, so the request will be sent back to the post generator. Okay. Now we have edit with root change in the second step. So if he is uploaded, it will go to the second step. Okay, the workflow will be sent to the second step, to the new approval. Whoever is the approval in that level. So edit with root change means part. So edit with root change specifies that here they have an option to edit. Okay. So here in this second step, the whoever is the approval. That approval observes that there was some postal code or the PIN code which was mentioned wrongly while doing the correction and that has not been identified in the first second level. The managers has observed it. So when the managers want to do the correction, they have a edit option OK. So managers can able to go and do the correction from their end and they can able to submit it. 
So once the manager will submit it as it is, edit with root change so it will not go to the second another step. It will validate the entire workflow by going into the previous step. OK. So, whatever is the previous step, it will be, the notification will be sent to the previous step and it will the workflow validated, and then the flow will be coming from the previous step to this step and to the future step. Next step. That is the meaning of edit with root change. OK. If you are going with the same thing, if you are going with edit without root things under scenario. So the manager will do the without root change. So it will not go to the previous step, it will go to the next step, OK. That is the difference between the edit with root change and edit without root change. And in a real time we can see mostly. You can see the edit without root change, edit with root change. These are something which they can see. The implementation team would have done it okay. Then edit. Attachment is something where he has an option to edit it, but simultaneously he has an attachment link also. So you can attach the document. That is the supporting document also. He can able to attach it okay. Got it. Yes, okay. Then we have no approval behavior. So this I already discussed about in the reminds. So where we have this skip the step or the stop. So according to that, this, whatever process setup which we have done, if after to the reminds, if there is no behavior from the approval, whatever is the option which we have chosen according to that, that will act on it. OK. So here also in the real time, we can see generally it goes with either with the skip this step or the stop the fall OK. Then we have something as a relationship to the approval. So let me go here. So when I am going a relationship to the approval, relationship to the approval, we have employee and the initiator OK. It generally. It specifies whether the approval is determined based on the flows. Subject, user, that is, an employee, or the workflow initiator. OK. So, according to that, it specifies the relationship to the approval. Got it. So, for example, if suppose you are the subject, user means you are an employee and I am the initiator. I am making some changes to profile and it will be sent to the approval, OK. So what is the relationship between you and approval? That is, you as a subject, user, employee, and approval is the manager for you. But if the initial, if I am the initiator, if I am only making the changes for my data, then what is the relationship between? So in that case I will be asked as an initiator and the relation is between the initiator and the manager. OK. So here also you can see, by default it will be showing the as a relationship to the approval, as employee only. OK. Then comes with respect to the permission. When it comes to respect to the permission, then any. It specifies the permissions of the participant who view the workflow fields OK. So, whatever is the permission for the participant to view the workflow fields. So if it is specified as yes, if it is specified, yes means what? The workflow participants, whoever the participants are in the workflow, can view only the fields which they have the permission. OK. So in the RBP, whatever is the permission which has been granted to them, they can only see those fields only. If you are selecting the report permission as yes. If you are selecting as no means what workflow, 
participants can view all the fields regardless of the assigned RBP permissions. OK. That is the meaning of taking permission as respect, permission as yes or no, is it clear? Yes. Then we have workflow email configuration. So when we come into the workflow email configuration, it determines or it specifies a predefined workflow email configuration. Workflow email notification, which will be sent to Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.